Hi and welcome to TechSit Tutorials. Uh, today we are going to learn about one of the most important properties in CSS called position. Uh, we will take a look at a very simple and a small example to demonstrate how uh, different values of uh, this property position works. And I'm, uh, for each value, I'm going to show a practical example of where to use them. So please uh, go through the entire tutorial to understand the concept. First of all, here are some property values uh, that, are, that are commonly used. Static, absolute, relative, fixed, and initial. So let's understand the first property value of position, uh, static. So for that, I have uh, three elements here uh, on the left side. Um, first, second, and third. And I have, uh, I have some common styles for it. And then for each uh, element, I have different background so we can understand uh, how they are uh, moving around. Now, by default, each uh, each of these element would have a position as static. Uh, let's look at this. So if I inspect element and go to the computed property, and as you can see, uh, it's static at the bottom here. So by default, the position is static. Uh, static really means when it comes to uh, position is do not interfere, which means uh, let the other property of this element uh, take care of the position. Now let's look at the position relative. So for that, I'm going to keep the, the element first and the third as a position static, which is by default. But the second one, I can change it to position relative. Uh, but before we start, uh, I want you to understand uh, one concept. Uh, currently, based on this arrangement, the uh, for each element, the top left corner, which is around here, uh, I would consider it as an origin of this element, which means that uh, if I change, let's say, the size of the element, the that that spot top top left does not change. So, for example, if I say um, I change the fonts, uh, let's say change the height height to be let's say 50 pixels, right? Which means it's going to expand. Uh, but as you can see, the, the top left corner doesn't move. So in nutshell, let's remember that uh, the origin of each element is the top left corner. Now, uh, if I change the posi second element's position to relative and run it again, uh, nothing really changes. Now, changing the position to relative simply doesn't do anything. However, it enables four different properties uh, to work on it. The right, left, top, and bottom. You can apply these properties to move the, this, uh, the second element around. So for example, if I apply, uh, let's, say, uh, let's say I'm gonna remove the height here and apply top 10 pixel. Uh, when I do that, the second element actually moves 10 pixels down, which means it adds a 10 pixel between its origin and itself on the top. If I say uh, left 10 pixels, which means it's gonna add a 10 pixel between its origin and itself. Um, which means when I say 10 pixel left, it's actually going to move uh, 10 pixel right. And vice versa, if I say 10, pi 10 pixel right, which means the element is going to move 10 pixel um, to left from its origin. And now again, its origin is right here, the, the original before, before we moved the, the element. Um, so that's what's happening. Basically, now we can move the element around using its origin as a reference point. 
Now, as you can see, the elements around are not really affected by this move. Uh, let's say if I if I say top uh, 15 pixel. The first element stays exactly as uh, before. The second, the third element also is the same place. Only the second element moved. Uh, think of this, this like if there are three guys standing in a line and they are touching each other, okay? Um, which means if the second guy has to move, the third guy would move as well. But let's say if you want, want to keep the first guy and the third guy in its own original position, and if you want the second guy to move a few steps steps backwards, then he has to uh, go on the top of the second guy. Uh, this is what's happening here. Uh, the second element is actually going on the top of the third guy. Uh, the third guy is still there. Uh, so this is a position relative. Uh, this is really useful when you when you have an element uh, which you need to move without really disturbing its environment. Uh, here in this example, I have two lines. Uh, the first line is basically hello world people and the second line is I am next line. And uh, let's say if I want to move this world tiny bit bottom uh, below, right, without disturbing. Usually when you add, do something like this, the line below will also move. If you add, let's say, add a padding or add some margin on the top, uh, it, would, it would move. But here, if I want to do this, all I have to do is make the position of uh, the element uh, world here, which is class B to relative and the rest other element would be uh, position static. And I'm just gonna say top uh, 10 pixel. Okay, if I run this, as you can see, world move just a little below because it added 10 pixel on the top. Um, and the the bottom line is actually affect, not, not affected by it. So this is a real use case of where do you want to use a position relative? The next uh, property value for position we're going to look at is absolute. Uh, this is probably the most used one um, to do all kind of funky stuff. Uh, let's look at it. So if I change the second element to position absolute and run it. Now let's look at this uh, first. Uh, it's still there. The second and third seems to be on top of each other. Uh, basically, second is on top of third. Uh, and remember, when you when we had a position relative, we had uh, first, and then there was a space, and then the third, and then we we were able to move uh, the second, but this this the reserve space was still there. So the second had its own reserve space. Here it seems like. The, the first and third is actually bumping into each other and as if the, th the second doesn't even exist and the second is actually floating on a different space. Uh, actually, if I change the size of third here, let's say uh, height, if I can hide, let's say 50 pixel, you would see actually the third is actually underneath of second. So here, uh, making second element absolute makes it disturbs the entire environment uh, imagine if you have third fourth and fifth everybody move one everybody would move one uh, uh, element up and it would take uh, the third would take second's place fourth would take third's place and everything would move up so it does disturb the the, the environment in position relative the we can move the, the second element compared to its own origin. Uh, here, it's a little bit different. We can still move the second element around using top, left, uh, bottom, and right, uh, but in reference to its parent, in reference to it actually its uh, relative parent. If I say top 20 pixel, it would move as you can see, the parent is actually the parent of all these elements because all three elements is covered in one parent. 
so its parent is actually top left corner uh, in order to demonstrate uh, I'm going to add a parent here so I'm going to add uh, div element with class parent and then just wrap it around it um, I am also going to add another uh, class on the top called uncle uh, this way we know that it's really reference to the parent and not reference to the uncle um, and uh, for here also I can have a common style and um, now if I say for the second one if I say top zero pixel it goes all the way because it parent it's not relative means it's actually going to it's finding a relative uh, parent if we cannot find it it will just uh, be relative to its it would reference uh, to its root so instead we'll, we're gonna add uh, a parent class and make it position relative Now if I run this, now as you can see, the now the parent, basically the parent is in, enclosing element 1, 2, and 3. Um, so its uh, origin is actually a top of element 1, which is right under uncle. Uh, so it is referencing to, to its uh, second element is referencing to the, the parent. So if I say, um, if I say top, uh, let's say five pixel, it's gonna move reference to that, that first element or the parent. Uh, but as you can see, it's not referencing to the uncle. So this is, this is uh, how the absolute behaves. First of all, it disrupts the, its environment. So basically anything uh, that the, any element that is defined after this element would basically take its place um, and the uh, the absolute element would go in a different space basically uh, but it would be by default it would be reference to its parent element it's it's uh, uh, relative parent element now let's look at this example in this example I have some some element uh, within that I have some text and some are more text and there is a button here um, now what I want to do is I want this button uh, to be here somewhere if I say top um, 20 pixel and let's say left 150 pixel and when I run this it would put itself here now I can conveniently move this around within this space uh, by manipulating top left right and bottom okay now let's look at the position uh, value position fixed uh, so for that I'm just gonna change the middle elements position to fixed when I run it um, it doesn't it pretty much behaves like uh, absolute uh, but here the difference is instead of uh, reference moving a reference to its parent now you it's moving to um, the root means the body element uh, you can use a top left right uh, bottom to move, move it uh, reference to its root which means uh, if the page moves it's gonna stay exactly there right so for example if I if I make add lots of third element and let me tidy it up so I have so many of these third elements it's gonna add some scrolling here uh, but as you can see the second element doesn't move it stays there 
because it's reference to its root, uh, which is the, the body element. Now, if I change this to to absolute and run it again, now it would move with the with the scroll, and now it's reference to its parent. And if I change this to relative then it would find its place in the um, the stack so here's an example let's say if you have a web page and you want to have an advertisement uh, that just stays there uh, you can use position fix as you can see if I move here the advertisement on the right stays exactly the same position uh, you can have also some sort of a menu where you, you have to do some selection um, where you want to make it a fixed position so that even if the page moves, you can, it's still accessible at the same location. It doesn't move with the page. So that's all, folks. Um, hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, uh, please like the video um, and provide some comment. And subscribe um, if you want to... Look if you're looking for some cool future videos. Thank you.